Hello guys. Welcome to MEP Techniques channel. In this video, we are going to learn about Procedure for application of bolt torque on flange joints. Before we going to start the video, please click on bell icon to get more updates. And also, join us on other social networking platforms. Links are given in the description. Now, let's start the video. To obtain a leak-free flange connection, a proper gasket installation is needed. The bolts must be assigned on the correct bolt tension, and the total bolt strength must be evenly divided over the whole flange face. With torque tightening, the application of preload to a fastener by the turning of the fastener's nut, the correct bolt tension can be realized. Correct tightening of a bolt means making the best use of the bolt's elastic properties. To work well, a bolt must behave just like a spring. In operation, the tightening process exerts an axial preload tension on the bolt. This tension load is of course equal and opposite to the compression force applied on the assembled components. It can be referred to as the tightening load or tension load. Here is the procedure for application of blot torque on flange joints. Step 1. Align components parts and clamp together with hold down. Step 2. Lubricate stud or bolt threads in area of nut or forged ring engagement. Also lubricate face of nuts or bolt head using a suitable lubricant. Step 3. Install all bolts and nuts finger tight. Step 4. Number bolts so that torquing requirements can be followed. Step 5. Apply torque in 20% 1 by 5th steps of required final torque, loading all bolts at each step before proceeding to next step. Step 6. Tighten bolts in sequential order 0 to 180 degrees, 90 degrees to 270 degrees, 45 degrees to 255 degrees, and 135 degrees to 315 degrees at each step until final torque is reached. Step 7. Use rotational tightening until all bolts are stable at final torque level. Two complete times around is usually required. See following sketches, bolt torque procedure for 8 bolts, and its sequential order, and rotational order. Bolt torque procedure for 12 bolts, and its sequential order, and rotational order. Bolt torque procedure for 16 bolts and its sequential order and rotational order. Bolt torque procedure for 20 bolts and its sequential order and rotational order. Bolt torque procedure for 24 bolts and its sequential order, and rotational order. Bolt torque procedure for 32 bolts, and its sequential order, and rotational order. 